Hey, my name is Cameron Wilde. My wife Victoria and I live full time in our Airstream. We've done a complete tour of that that you can go check out right here or maybe over here. Either way, check that out. But a question we get a lot is how do we store everything in our truck? So right now we're doing a little bit of mooch docking in Sedona and I figured it would be the perfect time to show you what's in the bed of our truck. We've got three bikes, a grill, mats, all kinds of other stuff that we need for full-time life. The truck that we have is a Chevy 2500. It's got a six and a half foot bed and we've got an ARE topper with a lot of cool features that I'll also show you in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and check out what's in the bed of the truck. I'm going to show you how we mount these bikes, what's in these bins, show you the kind of things that we like having for full-time life on the road. We have more space than we need and honestly I don't even know what's in some of these boxes anymore. We haven't used some of it in a while so it's actually a good opportunity for me to do a little bit of housekeeping as well. One of the most important things we have in the back of our truck is this Wii Boost. We've also done a video on that with some setup tips, a full review explaining how it works, whether it works, all of that. But let me tell you that is one essential tool for us. Right here, this is a mount where we drive over this, put it under the tire, or we can put it under the tongue jack of our trailer and stick the WeBoost in there. It's way easier than the mount that sticks on the side of the trailer, which the WeBoost comes with. Moving on, we've got this ratty old paper bag in here. This is our recycling bin. We're really big on recycling, and sometimes it's not so easy to find recycling, so I'll carry it around for maybe sometimes weeks. Next thing we have is three of these five gallon jugs. Uh, the type of jug that you use really doesn't matter that much, but we like to have these so that when our trailer's parked somewhere, when we're boondocking for several weeks at a time, we can carry around these 15 gallons worth of jugs in the truck, and when we find a water source, we can go top off and then funnel it into the trailer. You can get the fancy jerry cans online, you know, those nice rectangular things that probably store a little bit better, but these are just jugs that we've accumulated over time that you get from the grocery store pretty much in any town. Over here, we've got a couple pads for the stabilizers on the trailer. We only have two because we seem to have lost the other two, so now we're just using a couple of link blocks instead. Works pretty well, it just doesn't look as cool. Over here in the corner between the wheel well and the back of the bed, I've got my toolbox for bike parts. I have a separate toolbox of just tools. That's in bin, one of these bins back here. Um, but this is just bike specific stuff that I wanna be able to access easily. All right, moving on to the bikes themselves. So as you can see, we've got three bikes in here. There's a gravel bike, two mountain bikes. There's a few ways you can do this. You can go the fancy route and get a bed slide, which is a pull out tray. Those are about a thousand bucks. And so we decided to try to find a more budget solution. What we got here is a piece of plywood. I'm not sure the exact dimensions, but I can list that in the description. And then on that plywood, we've just got these fork mounts that are bolted in. Uh, I started out with screws, but those ripped out pretty quickly. So I just sent a bolt through it and you've got a nice nut and washer on the back that is much stronger than the screw. It is a pretty tight fit. We spent a couple hours figuring out the ideal location for the three bikes because uh, left or right by about an inch or two and they wouldn't fit anymore between pedals and handlebars and seats interfering. If you do a bed slide, it's a little bit easier because you can turn one of these bikes around and mount it so the fork is towards the front of the truck and that makes it so the handlebars are sitting over the tops of the two back tires on the other bike. And so you can get them a little bit closer that way. But the way we did it, we have to turn the handlebars on one of the bikes. It's not that hard. You just loosen up the two bolts on the stem and rotate the bars about 45 degrees, but it does add a little bit of an extra step. Overall, I'm super happy that we can fit three bikes back here. Uh, it gives us a lot of peace of mind. Obviously, a really determined thief could still get in here, but this is a lot more secure than having the bikes just sitting on a, on a rack on the back of the trailer or on the back of the truck. A couple other things to note here, we do have dropper seat posts on the two mountain bikes, and so that makes it really easy to drop the seat post down so that it's not interfering with the top. Otherwise, you'd either have to you know, manually unscrew it, push it in the seat tube, or pull the seat out entirely. So that makes things easier. Because everything's mounted on the fork mount, we've got to store the wheels somewhere. So we've got two wheels along the side of the truck here. And then the third wheel for the gravel bike, which I don't ride as often, is against the front of the bed. And I tie it off on one of the bins so it doesn't roll around. And with the two wheels mounted back there and the other one towards the front of the truck, it's really nice to have these side openings that the topper affords us. This was an added feature of the topper. We had to pay extra for it. I don't think it was too crazy. It was maybe like one or $200 for each flip up, but it makes it so much easier to get in the side of the truck, both over here with the wheels and then also on the other side, if we just need to quickly access one of the bins. We also went for another upgrade on these windows. We have the screen slider. It is nice having those just to kind of air out the back. Sometimes we'll put trash in here and if it's in there for a couple hours, it gets kind of stinky. 
and it's nice just to be able to crack a window and air that out. The one downside of doing the slider screens is it makes the window opening just a little bit shorter, maybe, I don't know, two to four inches. That hasn't really been an issue for us, but just something to keep in mind. So let me show you what we've got on the other side of the bed. Right here, we just pile some things on top of our grill. This is our breathable outdoor mat. This thing is amazing when it's unfolded. It's huge. It expands along the whole length of the trailer, but it folds down to be really pretty small and it's not that heavy either. Here we've just got a couple extra doormats. We like to put these at the bottom of the steps just so we can wipe our shoes off a little bit before we go inside. We take our shoes off inside, but having a couple extra layers of defense against dirt really helps keep things cleaner inside. Bottle of rivet sealer, you never know, right? On top of this bin, we've got our grill. This thing likes to move around sometimes, especially like dirt roads when we don't have the trailer attached and we're going a little bit faster. So I've got a couple pieces of paracord that are tied off to the bed of the truck and I just strap them into these clips right here. I've done something similar back here on this bin that's stacked three high. And I've got a piece of paracord that's tied off towards the back and towards the front of the bed and then just loops around the base of that bin. That keeps them from so let's start pulling these bins out and I'll show you what's inside of them. Gotta unbuckle the grill first. So this bin is closest to the back of the truck because it's the one that we access the most frequently. Inside of here, we've got stuff like hoses, uh, power cables, our tire covers, all that stuff that we'll usually need right when we get to camp or if we're at the dump station and we just need quick access. What else do we have in here? Got some tilt bars for our solar panels on the roof of the trailer. Never use those. Um, some power adapters, a hatchet, a couple of propane canisters for our stove, which is in another bin. I'll show you that in a minute. Before we pull those other bins out, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple other things that we keep easy to access because we need them just about every time we set up camp. Uh, this is just some random mineral spirits and sealant crap like that. Um, but we've got grilling implements, an outdoor broom, Funny little tool is what you need to open the side awning on the Airstream. A real great design job on their part. Sealant, more sealant, hex fitting tool. Bought this just in case we have any hex fittings go loose on the trailer. It hasn't happened yet, fortunately. I'll probably put this in the toolbox once I pull that back out. Next up, we've got our table. We use this every time, it's what we set the grill up on. So I like to have it right there, easy to pull out as soon as we start setting it up. Okay, this top bin, we've got all of our mountain bike pads sitting on top of it. It's a good place to let them air out so they don't get too stinky when they're sweaty after a ride. And then in here, we have towels, rags, sponges, car cleaning supplies. We put this on the top next to that side window because it's also nice to be able to get in here quickly and grab a towel or a rag if we need it. Super easy to do, just flip open that window, reach in the box and get whatever you need. As we get further down the stack, we get into boxes that we don't need to access quite as often. So this bin here has our river tubes, essential our camping stove we've only used this a couple times i think the last time we used it was when we ran out of propane in the trailer and had to cook outside some extra fuel for our backpacking stove and a giant pump for the tubes third in the pile is our toolbox now in the truck i keep a tool bag of more commonly used tools like screwdrivers pliers box cutters that kind of stuff but here is pretty much every tool that we could possibly need. We've got levels and hacksaws and all kinds of different lubricants, spray paint, a torque wrench, more bike parts. The sort of the master box of tools. Got a couple more boxes in the back of the truck. I'm gonna grab those right now, pull them out this way. Okay, reusable grocery bags. Lola's box. Mostly just canned dog food. Some extra leashes, that kind of stuff. This one right here, what do we have in here? Got a blanket in here, some yak tracks, stuff that we like to get to pretty frequently. This one's on top and the very front of the bed. So again, this is one that I can access just by opening that side window. In the winter time, we'll put our ski boots in here, which are really bulky. And it's nice to have contained in a box like this that also contains the dirt as well. 
our final box is completely empty. But this is where we keep our backpacks. Right now, those are in the back seat of the truck with some backpacking gear in them. But when those are empty, we'll stuff them into here along with our two person backpacking quilt that really packs down very small. Last thing in here is this telescoping ladder. This thing is awesome. As you can see, it gets really small and it's pretty narrow too. It's really easy to slide into the back of the bed. You don't have to use this too often, but whenever we need to get up on the airstream, this is the only way to do it. So if we're cleaning solar panels, checking that everything's tied down or, you know, just need to get up on the roof to wash it, this is essential. This is a really good tool to have. It's not that heavy and it stores really easily. We have this smaller four by six rug. We had this before we got our large outdoor mat, but we still like to use this sometimes because the breathable mat, if it's really dusty out, it'll let the dust up and this thing is more impermeable. So we'll put this down maybe under the chairs just so we have an area that's not as dusty and we can kick our shoes off when we're sitting in the chairs. So when we ordered our topper, we did these add-on rails from Yakima and it came pre-installed on the topper. So that was definitely a good move. In the winter time, we'll also put our ski racks up there. But in the summer, we've got this bin right here. It's where we put our paddle boards, our camp chairs, and oh yeah, I've even got a bike stand up there. Well, that's the tour. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. That really helps us out. And while you're at it, hit subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notifications. We put a new video out every Saturday and we'd love to have you along for the journey. If you have any questions about our setup or if you've got any tips for us, make sure to drop us a comment. We respond to every one of them and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.